Well, no then, more technological then, excuses for your for your failure to do what you're supposed to on group, okay? You got no other excuses to offer me the next time up, okay? While this courtroom may look different, business is still getting done, even through a pandemic. The whole court had to scramble to basically make sure that we could continue to hold hearings and get our business done, as well as keep the public safe, because the courts are an institution that cannot close. And I understand, Your Honor, I'll try to come up and make a better, make, be, do better in class. Judge Million presides over the domestic violence court using the Teams or Zooms platform. Because you're gonna be on petition to revoke your probation number two. And this time I'm not going to take it so lightly. We've been dragging this, these cases out for a really long time. Okay? Okay, I understand. I'll get, I'll get to work. Many of the hearings are conducted where attorneys and treatment providers and the defendant themselves through hearings and or compliance hearings are appearing remotely. Robin from COPE. Maley and Jessica are my advocates. <laughs> Mr. Badgett is from Perception, one of the agencies. Ms. Lowther is from one of the agencies, Perception, and Ms. Ramos is our probation monitor. So thank you guys. So very few people actually come into the courtroom anymore in her particular court to have their business conducted. It's great for the safety of people. It's much more convenient for all of the parties. Currently, nearly 40% of all hearings are done using remote technology. Before the pandemic, almost all were conducted in person. I think it increases the safety for all concerned and it does provide a great deal more access than we could provide earlier, as well as more accurate pleading so that the, the judge has the information necessary to make a great, a good decision. Also increasing safety is the addition of a customer service window using an existing window that was never utilized. We can still serve the public without having them come into the building and then we could maintain social distancing out there on the street. So uh, that was a real game changer for us. Another game changer has been the creation of a juror report center, complete with screens, barriers, and air filters. People are brought in socially distanced, the jury is selected, and they are moved to other places in the courthouse for actual trials. We've been just thrilled at, at how this has come together from just a germ of an idea to something that we're using two or three times a week. We're very pleased with it. There's even more to be pleased about. The public can file their domestic violence petitions online through AZ Point, the Arizona Protective Order Initiation and Notification Tool. And if you go right to their homepage, there's a lot of great information they offer resources, uh, how to contact an advocate. If you need to speak with an advocate, if you're undecided, if this is the, the option you want to choose at this time, uh, as well as step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the portal. The first thing someone would do is create an account. It possibly makes the public feel a little more comfortable and safe knowing they don't have to step into the courthouse. We can process this all for them over the phone. And for those who would rather come to city court, the Orders of Protection Office has remained open. So in this office, we facilitate and help the public process their petitions to file for orders of protection, injunctions against harassments, and injunctions against workplace harassments. And just down the hallway, initial appearances are held for the entire county twice a day. You are charged with a DUI, misdemeanor. I'm entering a plea of not guilty on your behalf. Uh, Pretrial is recommending release. I am going to release you on this matter. Remote hearings, online petitions, and limited courthouse appearances have proven to be successful. These measures will no doubt become part of the court's business process post-pandemic. I think what we're, what we're trying to do is make court service or, or court participation as painless as possible and we're doing everything we can to keep this place safe and yet keep it running and we're going to continue to be as responsive as we can to concerns that the public has and as well as our, our stakeholders have to keep the court running well. If you don't appear, a warrant will issue for your arrest. Do you understand? Understood. Thank you. You may be excused.